Faith in Politics now, a fascinating interview to share with you. Two top aides to former President George W. Bush are speaking out pretty forcefully about the changing political landscape when it comes to evangelicals. And they have some blunt words as well for President Obama. Jennifer Wishon is here with that story. Jennifer. Thank you, David, and thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining us, Michael Gerson and Pete Weiner. Congratulations on the book. It's uh, very interesting. And uh, Michael, we'll, we'll start with you. Um, you. You talk a lot about in the book about kind of the, the winding down of the religious right movement um, that was led by uh, folks like the late Jerry Falwell. Um, tell us um, why you think that is, and then also why you think in some ways it's created some sort of a, a social backlash, if sure. you will. Well, we, we do an analysis of kind of the good and the bad when it comes to the religious right. The contributions they made to our common life, raising important issues that remain important, like abortion and family issues. Um, but also the problems they had with tone and how they uh, often an apocalyptic language, um, sometimes a divisive language, that many people, including people who share those social views, were alienated by in some ways. So we've come, we're coming to the end of an era where you're having a generational change in leadership, where you've had many institutions now changing, um, and a lot of people asking what comes next. I think the younger generation feels more at home uh, in the world, not in ways that I think are bad as Christians, but um, it's better, and they feel um, less uh, concerned that if their um, agenda doesn't succeed, that uh, everything will fall uh, fall apart. I want to talk a little bit about present. President Obama. Um, you guys don't necessarily deal with him so much in the book, um, but you know when he was running for president, um, he really reached out to Christians, and it seemed like there was a real opportunity there for him to relate to Christians. But that didn't transfer um, when he took took office. Right. Um, why is that? I mean, has he and, and has he blown it with Christians? Well, in some ways, he has. I mean, the the outreach that the Obama campaign did in that 2008 election to evangelicals in particular was unprecedented. But you look at these recent polling numbers, um, and they've gained very little ground with evangelicals. In fact, um, evangelicals about 45 percent don't know what faith the president of the United States is. Um, he has not used this uh, terminology and rhetoric effectively. He has not emphasized these themes as a matter of governing. Um, I, in my view, I was involved with the faith-based office at the Bush administration. I think he's uh, abused that office in political ways, doing outreach on health care and other federal initiatives instead of focusing on what ch religious-based charities can do for the poor. As two men who have spent time in the White House, you've worried about tone, you've worried about language and messaging. Um, can, in your opinion, President Obama um, win back evangelicals? They've been hyper-partisan and they've um, targeted uh, people that they disagree with as if they're enemies of the state in a way that uh, at, at times seems Nixonian. It's going to be a fascinating test. He's never had to make this kind of transition before. He's lived a charmed political life. Um, he's had very few setbacks, um, unlike, say, someone like Bill Clinton, who had a history of overcoming challenges. Can Barack Obama reformat, uh, kind of relaunch his own message in a persuasive way that uh, appeals to moderates in, in, the, in the United States and religious people? Um, that's, that's going to be a huge challenge. Well, between now and November 2nd, uh, folks have plenty of time to read your very thought-provoking book. Uh, congratulations again. Thank you again for being with us on The Brody File. And, uh, David, you can buy City of Man, Religion and Politics in a New Era uh, in bookstores and online. But um, since I've finished with mine, I'll, I guess I'll let you borrow my copy. Well, thank you, Jennifer. That's very generous, generous of you. And, by the way, let the record reflect The Brody File. We're always looking for free stuff.